Alright, what is up guys, welcome back to another video. Before I start the video off, two things quick. I'm releasing a texture pack folder at 1000 subs, it will have everything in that people keep asking for, so help me get to that goal as soon as you can, and you can have my fold, my, my, my packs. I don't, I don't keep track of what packs I use in videos, as a lot of you know, so it's quite frustrating if you can't get a hold of the packs I'm using, but this folder will have absolutely everything, I promise. Second thing. We have a new Discord server for the 100 player parties that we've been running the past few weeks. The link to that will be in the description. Come and join it. Come and verify your account. Get signed up. It means that you can join future parties a lot easier. But without out of the way, I want to talk about the main point of this video. And in this video, I just want to talk a little bit about staff and mega walls and share my views on staff and how the community treat them and how staff treat us a bit because there's just not a very strong connection between staff and the community in Mega Wars. At least not as strong as there is in something like Skyblock. And that mainly comes down to a few things. Some are probably to blame on the staff and some to blame on the community. And it's just a big mess right now. And I don't know if there's a solution, but I just wanna talk about it a bit and, and get some opinions as well. For me, Looking at the staff who play Mega Wolves, there really aren't many. There's a there's a few main ones that people know of who haven't actually played much recently from what I've seen, but they have played it quite a lot in the past. And why they don't play anymore greatly comes down to how they are treated by players. At least what I think. Because staff are like normal players, I don't think that staff are being turned away from the game because of cheaters and bee hoppers. That's just a thing that every player deals with. I think they are getting turned away because of the mass amount of attention they receive. They get hated from the instant they join a game. They have people calling them out, saying they're doing their job wrong, this and that, and, and they just don't get allowed to have the experience that other players have. Especially when staff are going into games nicked and people are just revealing their nicks straight away because almost everyone knows how to reveal nicks now it seems. And they're just getting cooled out right from the get go and that's really unfair because people are complaining at them that they're not doing their job. But they're not letting staff play Mega Wolves. Like a staff member has to play Mega Wolves and understand the game in order to do their job well. So they need that time to actually play the game as if they are any regular person, which they're not given. And if they're not given time to play the game, then why would they spend extra time on coming in and helping us ban cheaters and stuff? And that's mainly talking about mods. I think mods do their job fine. There's a lot of people who say the mods and helpers and stuff that play Mega Wars are corrupt. I disagree with a lot of those views. I think the evidence against them is very circumstantial. I, I think it's taken out of context quite strongly. I think it is only highlighting the bad side of staff. It doesn't highlight the fact that you have games where a staff member will come in and literally ban five people and know before people say that's just a thing that I get. I don't have any staff members on my friends list, yet people message me saying, oh hey, you must know some mods, can you get them to come into my game? I, I can't do that. Staff don't take requests. I don't have staff friends. Okay, like, not many Mega Wolves players that I know have staff friends. There are a few that do, that are friends with staff, but even them, they cannot get staff to come into your game and ban players. Staff just don't take requests. They don't take requests for anyone. That's just... They're, they're quite enforcing that now. But that doesn't mean that staff shouldn't be able to come into games at all. Staff do get these watchdog reports and they do come and they do ban players. And I think as a community we should appreciate that a lot more. Because there are, I don't know, I'd say one in... I'd say every game has a hopper in. And every game at least one hopper gets watchdog banned. And then about one in five games they will, there will be a mod ban. And I don't think people appreciate the significance of a mod banning a player. You can tell when it's a mod ban because it, uh, it doesn't say the watchdog message in chat. Quite often, when a mod is banning a player, 
it is a higher network level account. It is not your level one hoppers. That is caught by a watchdog. These are these are people who are quite blatantly closet cheating. I know those two terms don't go well together. And they're big accounts that are getting banned by staff. And that's a really good thing. Taking out these people who have influence on the server and are doing it to do wrong, that's a good thing. We need to appreciate that more. You should you should say thank you to staff more. Um, but the next thing I want to talk about is moving higher up the ranks into the admin and developer territory. I think that admins get a lot less hate than moderators. Moderators get uh, very personal hate towards them, whereas admins, they are sort of seen as a team. Uh, perhaps when Codename was here, he was singled out and very publicly harassed, but the admins that have finished the phase 2 update, they have not been mentioned at all really. I think people know who they are, but they've not been given hate at all. And that's because they are very distant from us, the community. Everything that the admins are doing is coming through the HPC. So you see no admins going and commenting on posts like you do with other games, because they're using the HPC to do that for them. And I don't know if that's for good or for bad. It helps because it means that the admins can sort of stay anonymous and they don't receive any hate from quite a hateful community. Yet on the other hand, it does almost feel like we don't have that connection with the developers that other game modes have. And it would be nice to see just admins, even just like the HPC can write a post, but having an admin post it, it would feel like we have a stronger connection already but I don't know how that would go with the admin getting backlash from the community it's a really tough thing and the community is awful at dealing with staff and it's a cycle people think that staff are bad so they call them bad and then in calling them bad the staff are gonna do less to help and that sort of gets worse and worse until there will be no staff left there are still some it's not too late and we can always bring in new staff. People are constantly saying there is no one in the community who could be a staff member because they all have mutes or bans in the past. You can have a mute or a ban and still get staff. That's just a thing. You can, the staff team accept that you can have learnt. And there are definitely people in the community who can get staff. But instead of people sort of stepping back and acknowledging that, people are just giving them a lot of hate. And I think some of the most influential users in the community, who I will not name, could happily apply for staff. And if they got the backup of the community, they could be a really good staff member. But they just won't get it. People just will not give them the chance to be a staff member. And that's why even if they did apply and did get accepted, they'd very quickly turn away from the game. Which is a shame, because I think that a good team of about five staff members who are all really active at once and working together could make a big impact on the community. Because once you see network level 200 accounts dropping left and right, it does scare you a bit. It does make you think, am I next? Um, other than that though, there isn't much more to say about staff. I think it's quite well known what the issues are regarding staff. But people are not willing to sort of change their view. People are not willing to be open minded and say, actually, this staff member is doing a good thing. We should appreciate that. We should accept that. And it can get better, but I don't think it will. I think the community are already too focused on the staff being awful, which they are not. I, I don't think they're awful at all. I think all they do is good. But tell me what you think down below. Do you think it's too late for for the community to sort of see the good in staff? Do you think it's too late for new staff members to be appointed from Mega Wars? I don't know. Tell me what you think. Thanks for watching.